need to finally switch from my Note 9 to my Pixel. I had a busy weekend. I didn't have all my apps set up. I just didn't really get time to swap things over. So I got this on May the 10th. And now I'm going to swap over my SIM card from my Note 9 to my Pixel. But first, I figured we're going to run a couple of tests. Right now my Note 9 is on Wi-Fi. So we're going to run a Wi-Fi test. Alright, so that was on Wi-Fi. We're going to test it again. It's on Spectrum. My Wi-Fi should be a lot faster than that, but... We'll just see. Really not great speeds. Now I want to test the Wi-Fi on the Pixel 3a. Now my house is covered by Spectrum. It's my ISP, and I have Google Wi-Fi for my home, for wire, uh, my home router. But again, I should be getting way more speeds than that, because I'm only, I don't know, 15 feet from my router. But I got a bunch of stuff in this room, so it may be interfering. Either way, though, I'm clearly getting better speeds on here. So I'm going to run this again, and on my note, I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi. So now I'm just on LTE speeds. So I'm getting about the same consistent speeds there. So now I'm testing it on T-Mobile's LTE on my Note 9. Both these phones should have band 71, so it shouldn't be an issue. I usually get around somewhere from 40 to 60 download speeds uh, on my T-Mobile signals here. So this is par for the course for my speeds for uh, LTE. All right, so now I'm gonna power down. I'm gonna power off the Google Pixel. I'm also going to power off the Note 9. Alright, so I'm taking my SIM card out of my Note 9, my dirty Note 9. SIM card tray is on the left hand side of the Pixel. And as part for the course for Pixels. Oh wow, that's when I had a SIM card inserted. Oh, that's interesting. This came with a SIM card pre-installed. I was gonna swap my Note 9 SIM card. I'm still gonna do that. Alright, now we're gonna power it back on. So it's very quick to come back on. Alright, so it's on Wi-Fi. Let me turn the Wi-Fi off. Make sure it can get an LTE signal. They're showing LTE up here. Full settings says Wi Fi will turn on automatically when you're near high quality save network. That's fine. Just to be sure I'm working properly, I'm going to connect to my T Mobile service. I use a T Mobile app and sign in. Alright, so I just got a text message from T Mobile. Telling me my code. I like how uh, Android messages says this, where I can just copy that number instead of having to copy the whole thing. All right, so it does recognize me. I'm gonna go to the Play Store and just see if there's any updates first. And even though there's not supposed to be an update until June, I'm still gonna take a look and see if there's any system updates. Still in the March.
Uh, I did learn something thanks to Suck It Tony. Go display. There is an option. There is an option for the theme here. You know, based on the Walmart or the Walmart and the wallpaper, or light or dark. I am not based on theme. It still doesn't change these colors, as you can tell. Just random stuff like this top part is now dark, and the app drawer is dark. There's not a way that I can tell to get rid of this gesture nav and go back to the three piece, the three buttons, which I prefer. All right, so now we got that set up. So first, let's test the LTE. Remember, we were at 55 and something for the Note 9. Let's just go ahead and test. So, uh, you know, nothing major there. It's hard for the course. You're getting the same speeds as expected. All right, that's about right. That's for fun. We'll go ahead and do another LTE speed test and see what we got. All right, so again, we're at the about the average it anywhere from 40 to 60 is pretty standard for my location Louisville Kentucky in the basement of my house so uh, I think that's pretty solid also I am going to try to use this phone naked no case And hopefully I don't break it. It's plastic. I don't really drop phones very often. I even used to ever use a case. Like back when I had my Nexus 6, I never had a case on it. Uh, once phones started hitting the thousand dollar range like these, I started getting cases. And I don't really drop them very often. But actually I did drop this one the other day. You can see a little scuff there. It fell from my lap to the asphalt uh, in my Jeep. There's my pocket and it fell out of my pocket. Uh, I was washing my or vacuuming out my Jeep, so it just feels irresponsible to have a thousand dollar phone and not have a case on it. Uh, again, this is four hundred dollars, but not four seventy nine. Uh, but I feel better about it being plastic. It has this dragon glass. It's supposed to be just as strong, so we'll see. All right. Well, thanks for checking me out. I'll follow up with you. Let you know how the watch is going and speed test. We're going to try to go with this as my daily driver for a couple of weeks. Uh, although the OnePlus 7 Pro is coming out, so that will probably tempt me as well. All right, well, thanks for checking me out. Like I said, we just switched from the Note to the one, two, from the Note to the Google Pixel and added my Samsung S3. All right, thanks for checking me out. Ask any comments. We're going to see if this little guy can replace the note.